my symptoms had been triggered from long time ago by an assault where my head was banged. The full weight of my body landed on my head. And from that moment, I remember clearly, so so long ago too, my world just went, I just felt kind of off balance, but nothing too life changing, just something was really off. And then I had issues with anxiety, building, some depression, just things were really off. And then several years later, I was in a car accident where I was rear-ended at a very high speed. I was really sore, but didn't think I needed medical attention. Until the next morning I woke up and I had the most splitting headache. And so I went in and they um, diagnosed me with whiplash, mild concussion, go home and rest. I was also starting school at that time. And suddenly I couldn't read. Like I couldn't focus on the page. My eyes were swimming all over the place. If I did read something, I couldn't retain it. I was trying all sorts of things to try and help me. And I started having horrible vertigo attacks. I would always just feel like I was on a boat. The world was rocking. I would have conversations with friends and not remember anything they said when they walked away. Um, even though I'm like really actively trying to listen. My body was an old tower computer that was overheating all and crackling and kind of making things staticky. It sounded and felt like static in my brain at all times. More simulation over what my body was already feeling flattened me out. I told my primary care several times, oh, okay, we'll try this and come back in a couple months if it doesn't work. So I'm back in a couple months after taking meclizine, motion sickness pills, or okay, well, it's probably allergies. So we treat allergies and nothing helps. Ear, nose, and throat doctor told me he didn't want to see me anymore. Um, my primary care threw up his hands and, you know, this is as good as it's going to get. Like, my world was smaller and smaller. I could, you know, some days I can't leave the house. Some days I can only leave the house if I've got my husband to hold on to. You know, I mean, even watching certain things on TV. You're sitting in the house so much. <laughs> I can't read. Certain things on TV were getting too... You know, I, what, I can just lay there sometimes and kind of focus on one spot and hope the world stops spinning. I saw my life slipping away. <laughs> and that is when I started doing some research. And, okay, he keeps telling me neurologist, neurologist, neurologist. My eyes are <laughs> what's messed up. Is there such a thing as... A neurologist optician, neuro optician, and I Googled it, and that's when I found the Mind Eye. So, my first appointment at the Mind Eye Institution, I'm sitting in the waiting room full of anxiety, and then I went back and did about four hours of testing. It's kind of emotional because Dr. Meyer is the first person to ever. Um, validate and see what I'd been explaining to people for years. He looks at me, he's like, it is so hard for you to read. And <laughs> I started bawling. <laughs> and he's like, you are so running hot because your brain is working so hard just to make sense of the world your eyes are telling it, it's seeing. I left the Mind Eye Institute again, just feeling somebody heard me, somebody saw me, and they had a plan. <laughs> that alone felt really good. So about a week and a half later, they sent me my glasses. And as soon as I put them on, my body, my brain, it just was like, 
And I did. I just sat there and breathed and looked around and the world was in 3D again. I didn't realize how much depth perception I had lost, but it felt like, oh, my brain is finally able to get some rest. I wanted to rush out there and live life, <laughs> you know, <laughs> go to a show. <laughs> but uh, I took it easy and um, I started sleeping better. And immediately my joint pain, I, like, I just felt a relaxation in my body that I'd, I'd never had, and, you know, unless I was having like a procedure at the hospital and they're about to put you under. Otherwise, I'm just constantly like... <laughs> and I did, I just sat there, I was just like, you know what? If this is as good as it gets, it was worth it. But it kept getting better. <laughs> I would absolutely recommend the Mind Eye. For anybody who's had any sort of, even some minor bumps on the head I've learned can really impact your vision. Yeah, the mind eye has definitely given me my brain back.